Hey guys, so today we are doing a Nahida guide, if I could find her. Mine's not that strong, but I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm just making a guide. So, Nahida is a very flexible character. She does everything right. She's a very, very strong character. If you're debating pulling for her, she's incredibly strong. She does incredible Dendro application. She gives characters elemental mastery. And she's just really good with her DPS as well, if you build her right. And I'm going to show you how to build her, what to do. And hopefully this is really helpful. So, it's best to get her to level 90, because she gets EM. Like, if you have 1,000 EM, then don't bother. Because the max you're going to need is 1,000 EM. I have 500 because my weapons are not maxed, and nor are my artifacts. But we'll get into that later. So let's talk about her weapons first. Uh, her best weapon is going to be a best in slot, which gives the most CM out of any weapon. So you're going to want it. Uh, if you can't do that, then if you have Xyphos, I'd probably do this. It's, it's my preference, that or Sacrificial Fragments, whatever one you choose. But her elemental skills have a high cool, uh, a very long cooldown, so you can just choose whichever one you want more, it, or whichever one you have. I'd prefer this one though. Uh, I don't think she has any free to play options. The Emerald Orb is kind of okay, but it's not that great. I wouldn't recommend it. I just, or oh no, there's also the Mop of Mare. It's not that great, but you get it free. The one, okay, but you get this free if you've done like the Traveler's Reunion or whatever. It's okay. Widsith is good if you're going for DPS Nahida. So is um, Yaimiko Signature. She loves. It. She still likes crit rate and crit damage, but she mostly wants EM. Oh, let's also talk about her ER. She doesn't need much. Like 100 to 140 will do perfectly fine on her. It just depends on your team. So let's go to her artifacts. So your best, your best artifacts are always going to be deep wood, but there's one problem. I just don't have deep, good deep wood, piece, deep wood pieces, so I'm not going to use it. If you, I would prioritize getting EM. So, if you really don't have good dendro pieces, uh, deep wood pieces, then use Gilded Dreams because it's also pretty good. Like it, it, it's an EM thing and it gives a pretty decent effect. If you don't have, if you can't get a full set, just prioritize the EM. Just if you can do just Wanderers with Gilded Dreams or whatever Elemental Mastery set. Just as much EM, if you can, get the 4-piece for either one of these. Her, so let's talk about Constellations. This one's okay, it just gives a free charge of all of them. Which, it can do some, it's pretty decent. You know, I'm not gonna say it's bad. It's it's really not, that's not too good. This, this is absolutely good. This is her best, this is probably her best one. It's, it's like right in C2, it's so strong. You get crit damage and rate on your on their blooms, which is incredible. And also, if they're being affected by quicken, aggravate, or spread, their defense is decreased further. It is a great support one for with sub DPS just to run like Tartaglia, uh, Ayato, Kokomi. Like this is just a really good thing. This one, it's okay. Like. It gives more of her EM, which can give other characters more EM. It's and it's kind of it's okay, but you usually don't need EM. This is pretty good because it gives you a lot more. It gives you a lot more damage to her, uh, to her all schemes no, and I think that it <laughs> would be good because once you have your domain expansion on while doing this, you get more damage. So it's. It's a C6, it's pretty good. Let's talk about talents. You're gonna wanna, so here's what I think. So, prioritize this. It's her best, it gives her, it gives you more damage based on more EM you have. Then next, this, because it's good. So I fumble a lot, and let me just describe it. So if you have a pyro character, you do more pyro damage based on that. Electro, you get like, uh, aggravate, decrease time, and Hydro, you get more duration. With that, you just get more EM based on Nahida's, and the other gives Nahida more crit and, and crit damage with Nahida's EM. So that's why you need 1,000. So currently, I'd be giving about 127 uh, EM. 
the, the character that's inside of it. But if you have a thousand, you can get 250, which is why you want to have that much. And for each uh, one, you know, point beyond 200 on this, you get a bunch of crit. And that's why you also want a thousand, because it gives all that 8% bonus crit damage and 20% bonus crit rate just by having 1000 EM on this. Which gives our all schemes now even more damage, which is why you want to upgrade this. This is a both these are really good skills, and I need to get this. <laughs> okay, so next I want to talk about her team comps because she's a very very flexible character. Let me just go into party. All right, so let me pull up this. Okay, so she can be used as so many characters. Sino, I've seen. He can be used as. He can be used as Sino. This is like what I would recommend. You can put anything over here. Well, I'd put a shielder because I didn't want him. <laughs> I'd like my side to be kind of decent when it comes to tanking, but it says how I play. But you can have anything here. You have any slot here. It's just a better traveler. So always use that. It could be, it could be use a child, like um, Hyper Bloom, probably. Like something like this would be pretty good. Don't keep me waiting. Same with, like, I've, I've seen some Ganyu teams floating around. She's a really strong character that's really flexible. She could probably work with whoever you main. I'll say that. Uh, and I mean Sino, so... You know, I let's just show what she does. Because I think that she's a horrendously strong character. So, in conclusion, Nahida is an incredibly strong character with a lot of flexibility. And... It's just incredible. If you're debating pulling for her, she's horrendously strong. Pull for her. She gives so much buffs for your team. She helps you a lot with everything. She collects materials a lot faster, it makes your grind faster. Uh, she has some cool abilities too, like with NPCs. It's, I love Nita. I think she's a great character. She's fun to play, so. I recommend pulling for it. Thanks for watching guys and goodbye.